Click in the top right corner for the full audiobook. Chapter 5. Three Factors of Intention. Will, Desire and Belief. Intention has three factors influencing it which are the will, desire and belief. A being could not act unless it willed to act, and it would not will to act unless it desired to act, and it would not desire to act unless it obtained some satisfaction thereby. What it is satisfied by will depend on its own nature. Its own nature is determined by its consciousness. Therefore the order of causation in mental creation is consciousness to beingness to desire to will to action. The action is firstly mental action, that leads to physical action secondly. I think therefore I am, therefore I desire, therefore I will conceive and carry out my plan with action, to get what I desire, and find satisfaction doing so. The psyche consists of the faculty of intellect, the faculty of emotion, the faculty of will and desire. It is the faculty of will and desire that is the most powerful and authentic one. It is the will and desire faculty that makes you do what you do. It is the will and desire faculty that brings you back to the thing that you've left multiple times. It is the will and desire faculty that causes you to refine yourself and everything you are doing until you achieve what you've always wanted. To make a decision based on what you really want, Make it from the will and desire faculty. Belief gives strength to your intentions. Belief is power. The more you believe in something, the more power you give it to have effect. Desire in the absence of belief is neediness. Desire in the presence of belief is having a strong intent. The belief has to be the unwavering certainty that you'll achieve your intended outcome. You could have all of the skills and desire in the world, but without the unwavering certainty that you'll get what you want, you're doomed. But one does not absolutely need to have an unwavering certainty. That is not always entirely possible. There might be doubts or contrary beliefs that exist. It is all a matter of focus. By choosing only to focus on that which is empowering and positive, one eliminates the effect of that which is disempowering and negative, as though they don't exist. Hence you will seem to have an unwavering certainty. The law of attraction is whatever you focus on most of the time, you get. You attract to you everything and anything you hold in your mind, whether wanted or unwanted. Intention is applied attention. Attention is a word derived from the Latin root, meaning to reach out, to stretch out, and so the act of attention is really a mental reaching out, extension of mental energy. Intention is where you are mentally reaching out to. The will is mind force or mental assertion. When you will something, you mentally assert it. You have the mindset that commands and demands that it must be so and that it will. Your will gives power to your intention. Will is the outward manifestation of spirit. People are normally focused on their problems. Problems are simply unmet desires. The will is the ruling faculty of the mind. Only the conscious mind has the ability to assert the will. He who has no will has no mind. His mind is not his own, but is being used by another. Unless we control thought, it will control us. Secret of the will. The will is directed by desire. The trouble with us is that we do not want to do the thing enough to make us exert our will power. We don't want to hard enough. Strong will follows strong desire. The person that never wants anything gets little. To demand resolutely is the first step toward getting what you want. All operations of the mind are based on desires. Your beliefs about your desires form the characteristics of your will. It is most important to have the right beliefs about your desires. Concentration is sustained focus. Will is the faculty of concentration. Concentration requires interest. The relation between concentration and interest is the relation between will and desire. 
it is certain that you can do what you want to do. The desire to do it is proof that you have within you the power which can do it. Desire is power seeking to manifest. Deep down inside you know you can do it, that's why you want to do it. Every desire is possibility seeking expression through life. The desire to play music is the power which can play music seeking expression and development. The desire to speak before millions is the power which can inspire the world seeking expression and development. The key is development. When there is no power, either developed or undeveloped to do a thing, there is never any desire to do that thing. Power is the ability to do or the capacity to act. When there is strong desire to do a thing, it is certain proof that the power to do it is strong. The more unbreakable a desire is, the more unbreakable the power present is. Power comes from purpose. It is God that works in us both to will and to do. Desire is based on purpose. In your strongest desires, you feel a definite sense of purpose which is undeniable within you. Purpose is what defines us and binds us to our design and destiny. Purpose is the will of the divine. The stronger the motive, the greater the concentration. Motive is purpose-driven desire for moving forces towards the attainment of a thing. The will never acts in a direction which the mind believes impossible. The disbelief acts as a break on the will. Belief removes the barrier for the will to act. When you have the realization that there are others out there doing what you are thinking of, it gives you the permission to go totally into it without holding back. Desire force is attracting power. Desire is an emotion and all emotion is energy in motion. The emotion of your desire pulls what you want towards you and pulls you towards what you want. Allow yourself to be authentic with your feeling of what you don't want, but focus more of the time on what you want. It doesn't matter what you want or don't want. What you focus on most of the time, you will get. Focusing on something gives it the mental life to exist. The will and desire are already operating at full blast. It is belief that releases or unleashes their power. The more you believe, the stronger your will and desire will be. Belief is belief in purpose. Belief realizes purpose. Belief unleashes your desire and willpower according to purpose. Belief connects your will and desire with a universal willpower and infinite desire. Imagination is the faculty of belief. A person's free will always yields to the imagination. You cannot imagine one thing and will in the opposite direction. You cannot will yourself to be steady if you keep imagining that you will fall. Your will is powerless to make you advance if you imagine that you cannot. It is absolutely impossible for you to do so. You must will to imagine in accordance to your will. You can aid the will with the imagination. As you imagine, your will acts along. The mental picture is the mental force. Where you focus is the direction your will acts. Your will does not need training, but your mind does. The mind is the instrument and the supply of will power is proportionate to the fineness of the instrument through which it manifests. The will is feeling force. Since all sense is one sense, to feel is to imagine and to imagine is to feel. Will and imagination are one. All mind power is one mind power. Everything can be resolved into the will imagination. Although the will is directed by desire and desire is influenced by belief, it is still the will that chooses the belief. So it is ultimately the will directing itself. The reason why this is so is because God created each of us as a free will entity. We have a self-regulating will. The extent you succeed in getting something is determined by what you truly believe is possible and how intensely you desire the result. A strong intent is having the will and desire to do whatever it takes to get your intended outcome, coupled with the belief that you can actually get that outcome. To sum it up, an intention is what you focus on. It is all a matter of choice. 
You can choose where to direct your attention to, but choice is based on awareness. Once you know, you can choose. Gaining more knowledge about how things work in the mind and reality gives you more power to make conscious decisions in life.